What's good guys, Polly Popo here, and I'm glad to be on the channel with you guys, man. I know you guys can be doing a lot of other things today, but it just humbles me that you guys have been leaving so many nice comments and sharing the videos. Um, you know, when I'm dealing with everyday life, when I'm not in my studio and I'm dealing with it, um, you know, just like every day for you guys, it gets hard. And when I see that positive feedback come my way, it takes it all away. So from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate every single one of you. And today what I'm going to do is encourage you to make music. And I'm going to show you exactly how it can be discouraging uh, whenever you get your MPC and you you just want to know how to hook up your gear. You can't get audio. It's been three, four weeks that you had your box and you can't get it. Or you want uh, your synthesizer to be played with your pads. I'm going to go over all that stuff today. Uh, I owe it to you guys. And um, it, it's been a highly requested question that I get on my channel all the time. I get emails about it. So I'm going to dedicate that today. All I did was do a little bitty loop on my keyboard and I got that running in the background. I'm going to kill that here in a second and we're going to get right into the MPC. Um, I really, really hope that by the end of this video, I believe, and I'm going to put everything that I got into this video, guys, to make sure that you know how to hook up your MPC and why you're hooking it up the way that you are. Um, and to get an understanding of how I have mine set. If you're looking to have your synthesizers, let's say you have three or four different synthesizers and you want them to go into uh, a mixer or a wada wada, what yada yada, whatever, out of the mixer into an audio interface into your TV is probably the best thing or your computer. But let's run through this step by step and uh, I'm gonna try not to, not to skip any Okay, so if I forget anything, just now uh, forgive me because I might, I, you know, I'm human. I'll overlook just about anything, just like anybody else in the obvious. But let's dive right in here, and I'm going to show you why the USB is hooked up. I'm going to use this to control everything in my studio. This keyboard right here is going to be my controller. If I want to play drums, I'll play them on the pads, or if I want to use Pad Perform, I can also use the pads for that but it will be controlling eight different uh, Euro rack modules and we're going to be co controlling three or four different uh, synthesizers cool and uh, yeah let's, let's get right into it okay So basically the way that I have this set up, I got my USB going into the back of my MPC. On the back of your MPC, there's a couple of slots. Let me show you. Alright, forgive me, okay, because my camera is not the best in the world, but all I'm doing here is I'm going to plug my USB for my keyboard into one, okay? And then from these are just my CV cables, don't mind these right now. Now MIDI out. I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna go MIDI in because I'm not using a MIDI controller. I'm using a USB controller. It's the same thing. It's just I wanna be able to play. I can go MIDI out of my synth uh, synthesizer. I'm gonna say sledge. My teeth hurt. I'm gonna go out of my sledge 
into here. This way I can play over it. I can loop it. If I record as an audio track, it's only going to give me eight bars. We'll get into that later. But right now you want to hook up MIDI out in to your synthesizer on all the MIDI outs of the back. Right here I got MIDI out A, MIDI out B, and MIDI out C. And MIDI out D. Alright? So these are all going into different synthesizers. I got one, two, three, four. That's all we're going to do with that. The CV gates, I did them uh, the color of the rainbow, um, Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, blue, violet, indigo, whatever. This way you can remember which one's CV and which one's gate. And if you're into modular, you know about CV and gate. CV controls your pitch and gate controls your attack or your, your trigger, the on and off. So let me redo this so I can plug this in. And like I said, that's all there is to it. You plug in your keyboard, USB. It doesn't make any noise by itself. It's just a controller. You can use native instruments. You can use whatever. But you want to have the USB. And then you got all your CVs plugged in according to, see? Red, orange, yellow, blue violet then I get like a green and a brown I usually use those for my kick drums through filters I trigger the filters with that so we're good now we got all this stuff connected to the MPC right for me I'm gonna go audio out of my mixer not my main okay I'm not gonna go main out of my mixer my main is gonna be going to my speakers my mixer has different groups so I'm not going to just put your main to your speakers and then go out of your mixer into your MPC inputs one and two now you can have as many channels as you have on your on your mixer you can mute them out or whatever but now they're going into your MPC and you can juice them you can you can tweak them um, a lot of people go eight outs into the MPC I mean eight outs of the MPC into a mixer so they can fine-tune their drums and that's fine too just make sure that when you're you're going back into your MPC it's not uh, it's not like looping on itself you know what I mean you don't want it to be sending two tracks so you don't want to go out of your main into your MPC you want to go out of uh, I go out of groups three and four into my MPC so anything going out of three and four comes into my MPC so for instance if all of this all these here my microphone everything whenever I'm ready to sample I'm gonna put everything except for my MPC on channel three and four. My MPC is gonna be the only thing coming out of the master because it's got the sound that I need and everything's going into it so you guys can hear everything, all right? And then I can sample anything, whether it's my TV or whatever it is. So we got these and I wanna go out of my mixer into here, so that's what we're gonna do. And the last thing we're gonna do is plug in the power cable. All right, so let's set this bad boy down. All right, plug in the power cable. Well, let's get the speakers plugged in first. Alright, 
So we got the speakers plugged in. I mean, the input. Because the speakers are coming out of our main from our mixer. So what I have to do, I have to go back into my mixer. Let's plug the power cable in. Turn this bad boy on. And I'll show you and the benefits of this are that one I can control everything in my studio and I'll show you we're gonna get into everything I'm gonna show you guys how to hook up CV gate we, we just did MIDI so MIDI is good I go to empty project and I go to a MIDI it's right underneath your plug I'm gonna go to MIDI port So now I should be able to control my make sure we're on the right port. And what's really, really cool about this is I can use Pad Perform. And like I said, I've never been able to play, let's say, chromatic chords. I'm going to play a D pentatonic minor. Again, what? So I'm going to play that, I guess. So we're just going to go right up the scale. And I wouldn't be able to play this on here. I don't know how to do that. pretty dope so I can control that with pad perform um, and let me show you this real quick because this is the main reason you want to do this uh, what I need to do is go I'm gonna go out of the front of my MPC this headphone jack and you can go left and right out of the back but the reason I like to go out of the front is because I have control right here over the, the volume going out and it makes a nice little gain um, meter. So what I need to do now to hear my audio, right now you don't see any meters moving. There's nothing going on. And even if there was, you can't hear any of it. So what you have to do, in my case, like I said earlier, I'm going to set everything on 3 and 4. This way it's going into my MPC. I'll start with my vocals. I'll take it off master. And now I'm going into my MPC. So what's really, really dope about that is to hear the audio coming back from my MPC, I have to make sure that it's coming out of my master. So we'll do that now. So you can still see right here, now my voice is coming out of the out of the MPC. It actually comes out pretty hot too. It's about the same. Um, you do have to have this on direct. And if you want to record your voice, you just hit in. So now if I want to go back, you can just hit auto, it doesn't matter. Uh, point this at 12 o'clock because then you can hear You can hear how grimy it is through the MPC like that That's just straight MPC and then if I go back it gives me the original signal back to direct 
Now you can hit the channel mixer here and go to your audio tracks because it is an audio track. We're going to add a little bit of air spring uh, delay analog sync. And right now we can't hear nothing because this is a dry signal, but as soon as I hit it to main on the right side, you see? You see? You see? You see? You see? So now if I want to now if I want to get now her and 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 get I could do that. 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 But my whole thing is I'm not recording my synthesizers as audio tracks because in standalone mode you only have eight audio tracks. You can bounce those and do all kinds of but this is a lot of this is a lot easier this way. I go to my MIDI. I'm on my pads. Make sure it's coming out of my channels three and four and off of my master. Signal. Is that right? Yeah, it looks like we got a good signal going in there. Um, let me turn this latch off real quick. All right, so. What's really, really dope about this, guys, is now I can play my... We're going to take that effect off. Trash it. Alright, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you, just do like a four bar beat here. And now, instead of having to play your part perfect on the 8-bar audio track, you can simply go... And you can loop it. If not, you wouldn't be able to. It's just something fun. And, I, and you don't. And you don't have to worry about using an audio track that way, you know what I'm saying? And the best part is, while it's playing back, you can go up to your synthesizer in real time.
guys, I really hope that that, I know the video quality ain't there, man, because I'm, I'm, forgive me, I don't have a camera right now, but uh, I'm using these USB cameras to the best that I can. I uh, hope I showed MIDI out A, B, C, and D. I got this keyboard coming out of my MPC, MIDI port C on your bank down here, and <laughs> I can't believe you didn't even get to see that. Hey, dude, it's right there. MIDI port down right there. It's down there. MIDI port C. Now I hit my keys. So my point is, whenever you got all your MIDI gear going together, say you got one, two, three, we'll be using the Behringer Neutron and the Model D, or I'll be triggering the Model D CV, and all that is, is earlier we took the CV cables out, remember that Roy G. Biv thing, red, orange, so we know red and orange are our first two. And we'll just start plugging away. We'll get uh, our signals going into where we want on the bearing or neutron. Let's say, uh, let me see, on the Model D, let's go bearing or neutron. On the bearing or neutron, you're going to want to go CV. You can actually use four of these wires just in the neutron. You can go into oscillator one, oscillator two, or oscillator one and two. We'll control both with one. And the envelope and gate. And that's it. That's all there is to that. Me personally, I like to take the uh, voltage control amplifier and plug it in and then go out. This way I can control how much of the bearing or neutron is going to be coming out. saying that if you don't do it this way it's gonna it's gonna ring out it's just gonna bear ringer everywhere <laughs> it'll never stop playing a note it'll just hold it there so you're gonna go output in the channel one of the mixer um vca wait output of the oscillator mix into my VCA in not CV and there I'm good to go whenever I hit a note on there I could have just hooked it up uh, with a MIDI cable BAM but that wouldn't give me the option to play each oscillator individually so yeah we're gonna go on and take the rest of these and plug CVs into gates and all that and I mean that's the audio that we have coming through and same thing with this I'm gonna have the output of this little mixer going into a channel on there I'm gonna have the, the output of three and four going into my MPC so any sounds that I get through here I can sample as well which is a lot of random stuff and how I'm gonna be making my samples and stuff so I thought I would just share that I really hope that that helped um, not gonna dive into what the modules do themselves right in this video but I am gonna be going over a lot of different stuff I've learned different ways to use each one and I think I found a perfect setup um, but just to set your MPC up perfectly uh, if you need to watch it again and definitely yes you can hook up USB your keyboards uh, USB, but you're still gonna need an audio out back into a mixer To get it all to go into your MPC so um, Again, my voice is coming out of the MPC now you can see it in the sampler and um, This is with it off My voice just going straight into 
the uh, mixer that I have. And then when I go right back in to the MPC, it actually gives me a nice little signal. And not a bad, not horrible, but if, if you have any effects or anything like that, you want it on direct, that's for sure. Me, I keep it around uh, 11 o'clock this way. I can hear all my synths, and then I can hear my mic over everything, too, and I know I'm at a proper level uh, to record. All right, guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up. I hope that that really, really helped you guys out today. And again, just take one step at a time, and it'll work. Just make sure to hit that audio. And make sure that it's going at least at least have it on auto I, I put mine in you know so that if I do want to record an audio track it's not going to record an audio track if you hit overdub you have to hit record from the beginning of the sequence so uh, okay so before I leave I do want to go over in my next video well I'm gonna just shout it out right now if you guys have already watched this uh, to the end um, and you're new here, uh, consider subscribing to my channel, please. And it'll help me out a lot if you leave a, a thumbs up and share. Because a lot of people are asking how to set up their MPC. So, um, with that being said, I just want to leave by, uh, on song mode. If you're sampling and you're chopping up a record and you don't need to copy out your sequences because you do them individually, when you're in song mode, there's no reason to convert any sequences or anything like that except the last sequence that you've been working on. And that what that does, when you're in song mode and you have six different sequences and you go to sequence six, that is going to be the sequence that you want to convert to a new one because it will take you to where now your four bar sequence is 16 it makes the whole song out for you it lays it out for you um let's see here you can even export it from right here and if you want to export it in separate programs uh you can you can uh Stereo output. Yeah, you would want it in separate programs. This way it would actually break everything down into individual tracks, I believe. Yeah. Yes. Alright guys, I'll holler at you guys later. I had a good time. I'm going to turn this music back on here. Now that we got it running back through the MPC. I'm going to kill the mic here, play a little music, and I'll see you guys on the next one. I really appreciate you guys for hanging out, and I'll talk to you later.